Hello, good afternoon. Uh, once again, my dear Matayong 4 students, how are you today? I hope that, that you're doing good. Now, today we just continue our lesson. And, uh, we started about probability. Okay, so last uh, Monday we started already this uh, new chapter about probability. The chance of an event that will occur or occurring. So as we said here in our definition, the experiment or the process of measuring activity for the purpose of collecting data. So that's the action. Outcome, the particular result of an experiment. So what are the results of that experiment? Sample space consists of all possible outcomes of the experiment. So we take or we take down all the the possible outcome for the sample space and lastly this is the subset of the sample space that is particular interest meaning to say what are you looking for you're looking for what so that is the event now we have an example again so for sample space again we have here uh, tossing two coins so if we're going to toss a coin so we have two uh, possible outcome in tossing a coin right we have the head and the tail, okay? So if you're going to toss two coins, then there would be a head and a tail and a head and a tail. Now for a table diagram, it will be look like this, the, the result. You will see he, uh, head and tail, H for head and T for tail, and this for the second coin. So you will have, it can be a head head, the result. It can be a head and a tail, or a tail and a head, or both tail. Meaning to say that if you're going to toss a coin, there would be four, four possible outcomes. Four possible outcomes. The same as if you're going to draw a, a tree diagram, you will also have four uh, out possible outcomes. And if, if we are going to write the sample space, it will be look like this in a set form. Okay. Next we have, if we're going to toss three coins even though that we add more coins still the same we have the head and the tail the head and the tail so for three coins it can be uh we need to toss three coins it can be all heads it can be two heads and one tail or a head tail head etc okay so these are the possible outcomes for that experiment of tossing the coin nah? so whenever any action that you're going to do there's always an outcome or result that will happen na so in anything that you do okay so we have your more examples this one so uh, for this we're going to represent the sample space using set notation and the number of possible outcomes or the cardinality okay the cardinality so we have two answers for this writing the sample space and the cardinality of the sample space. So first, number one, we have a sandwich shop has three types of sandwiches. So we have ham, turkey, and chicken. So meaning to say that there are three choices. So if you're going to buy a sandwich, then there would be three choices. So you're going to write the sample space as S is equal to ham, turkey, and chicken. Okay. What is the cardinality of the sample space? That would be S is equal to 3. Na? As simple as that. Number 2. The chess club must decide when to meet for a practice. The passable days are Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So, there are two, uh, three choices. Therefore, the sample space would be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And what is the cardinality of the sample space? There are three. Okay. Next, we have number three. The chess club must decide when to meet for a practice. Practice. The possible days are Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. And the possible times are 3, 4, or 5 p.m. So, we're going to choose. We have here the, the day and the time. So, there would be two events here. Okay. Two events that we're looking for. The day and the time. Okay, so what would be the sample space? What would be the result? What would be the result? 
all possible results. So you're going to pair the day and the time. So there, there is the sample space. We have T for Tuesday, W for Wednesday, and TH for Thursday. So you're going to pair just the day and the time, the day and the time, the day and the time. So you have T3, T4, T5, W3, W4, W5, TH3, TH4, and TH5. Okay, so these are all the possible outcome, na? or the sample space. So what is the uh, cardinality for this? Just simply count all the possible results, and there are nine. Na? Did you understand, Mai? So I hope so. Uh, we have your number four. When a button is pressed, a computer program outputs a random odd number greater than one and less than nine. Okay, so you press the bottom twice, twice, so the same. So what are the possible numbers here? Greater than one and odd numbers. So the, it's uh, 3, 5, and 7, right? 3, 5, 7, 3, 5, 7, okay? So the fir uh, first one is 3, 5, 7, and the second press is the same, 3, 5, 7. So just only pair them, 3, 7, 3, 5, 3, 3, 3, so we have here the sample space. You have 3, 3, 3, 5, 3, 7, 5, 3, 5, 5, up to 7, 7. Okay? So how many? What is the cardinality? How many possible outcomes? There are 9 possible outcomes. It's very simple, right? So that's how simple that you can write the sample space and the cardinality of the sample space. Now we have here more. This one. So this is a spinner. A spinner is a round uh, object that you spin it and you have the choices there and uh, there's a, a, an arrow that will point what would be the, okay, uh, the, 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 the arrow will land to what choice it will land. Okay, and we have here the die, rolling a die. Now, a spinner can land on either r red or blue. So this one, red or blue, you spin and then roll a six-sided die. So you roll a six-sided die, just only one. So what would be the possible? Possible outcomes. So just pair, okay? So we say blue of B for blue and R for red. So just pair R1, R2, because for the die, there are how many? How many uh, outcomes? There are six, right? There are six numbers. So this is the um, uh, sample space. We have B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, and R6. So therefore, how many uh, possible outcomes or the cardinality? We have 12. Okay? And we have here the last one. There are two boys and a girl. On a trivia team, two questions remain. So one team member is randomly picked to answer the first question, and a different co member is picked to uh, answer the second question. Okay? So for this one, you have two questions, right? So if one boy will answer the first question, then it's either the, bo the second boy or the girl will answer the second question. Right? Okay, because it's a different member. It must be a different member. So there will be uh, uh, the set. Like if the, the, the second boy will pick the first question. So for the second question, it's either the first boy or the second or the, uh, the, the, the first boy or the girl. Right? Now these are the sample space or the possible outcomes. So if uh, the boy one or the first boy pick the first question, then it can be uh, the second boy will pick. Or if the first boy will pick, then a, the girl will pick the second one. Or if the second boy will pick, it uh, again can be uh, the first boy will pick. Or again, they will be paired. Okay? Because there are only two questions. So it's either the first or the second or the third or the, the girl will pick each question. Now, and it must be different. In, in every set of picking the question, uh, it must be different person. Okay? Just like this. So what is the samples, uh, the number of cardinality? 
or how many out output or out outcome do we have? There are six. Okay. Do you have any question? Question for last two. So I hope that you understand uh, this lesson about uh, writing the sample space from the word problem on probability. Because I know that many of you would be like hardly to understand what is looking for in the in the problem and how we can write uh, the, the the sample space or the outcome from that experiment okay but try to understand it just try to understand the word problem is easy to understand i know you can understand it okay so we have here um exercises we have here three uh, three numbers the first one is a jewelry stores sells gold and platinum rings each ring is fitted with ru ruby sapphire emerald or diamond gemstone okay so you have uh, two events here we have the ring and we have the gems okay so you're going to pair that the the the, the rings plus the gems okay so you have two events what would be or what would be the possible outcomes what are the outcomes what is how you can write the sample space and uh, how you can uh, how much is the cardinality where the second one a spinner can land on either red blue or green then you spin twice okay twice four books needed to be placed on a shelf you randomly arrange the books on the shelf from left to right okay so as easy as that now again your answers here will be in a set form set notation nah? so try to to uh, write your answer in uh, set notation as well as write the cardinality of each possible outcomes okay do you have any question or clarification so if you don't have any question that's all for today and we see you again next time bye bye